Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome as well. It's great to have you. And just as a quick reminder, you know, my focus, uh, you know, my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can, you know, across all regions. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel, uh, when you choose to like the videos, when you choose to, you know, share your comments, which we appreciate you doing that and then when you choose to share the information with friends associates and colleagues so if you've not yet done so please hit that subscribe button and then to learn more about me learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level and then additional ways uh, that you can choose to support the channel you know check out those links below so with all that said let's jump into our topic here today and it's how to be a successful first-time gym salesperson how to be a successful first-time gym salesperson part two. And uh, you can search the channel for the previous video on the same topic to really give you some depth of how to succeed at this when we first get started. So if you're an individual that's just getting started, you want to listen up for sure. Or if you're a manager that's charged with training, you know, new staff that comes in, you know, listen up as well, because our job as a manager, you know, we want to create that atmosphere that allows a motivated person to act. So let's get into some thoughts here on uh, how to be a successful first time gym salesperson. And number one on my list is personal discipline. You know, have a plan and stick to it, okay? And so write a plan of action, okay? And stick to it. You can search the channel here for you know ways to, to write a proper plan of action, but get that plan together. Here's what you don't wanna do, just don't show up and think it's all going to magically happen or where are all these customers where are all these people well the manager is probably working with them or more seasoned performers are probably working with them you know you're going to have to kind of grow your own so to speak here okay you're going to need to start filling that pipeline so get a plan of action together and then stick to it number two Repeat number one, okay? And I, I say that because I really want to, you know, kind of bring this message home. There's very much a tendency just to sit around and wait for things to happen. You want to have this plan of action. You want to be working this plan of action constantly. How are you going to get people in that front door? How are you going to get people to talk to? And how are you going to get them to want to become customers? You know, and I'll give you a little thought on this when you kind of write a plan of action. For some, this might be a good idea. For others, you know, perhaps not. But I know I get in some of these bigger box facilities sometimes and we're doing training. And, you know, you get a person who's maybe the sixth, you know, sales rep on the team, new, kind of struggling. How do I get started? And I'll say, well, Jim, how can, well, what can I do to start generating some leads? And I say, well, I tell you what, I know what an easy lead is. Go and volunteer. Go to your manager. Volunteer to handle every complaint. <laughs> okay? And not something that most people are thinking about or maybe even want to do. But go volunteer to handle every complaint. Now, you have to know how to settle them. You have to make sure we satisfy the customer. Okay? But we satisfy that complaint. That's one of the highest levels of service that you could ever give somebody. You've earned the right now. Mary, tell me what kind of goals do you have? What are you looking to accomplish? Mary, how would you like to achieve your results twice as fast? And maybe you show her a personal training package, or maybe you show her how to upgrade her membership, or how she can get a workout partner by adding on a, a family member, okay? But personal discipline, you know, have a plan and stick to it. It's actually number one and number two on my list here. Uh, number three, understand this as a first time gym salesperson or anybody, it's all about the customer. It's all about the customer. It's about us solving their problem. It's about us providing solutions for them. It's about us providing more value than what we're charging for. It's about the customer. It's not about all the equipment you have. It's not about all the degrees you have or how smart you have. It's about satisfying the customer. Make sure that's number one. And then as we become a member now, it's again, it's still about the customer, right? It's about the customer experience, about the member experience. But no, it's all about the customer. Solve their problems, solve their problems. Don't just show them a feature, show them how that feature solves their problem. Don't just ask them to buy a membership, show them how becoming part of your program will solve their problem, okay? Number four, leverage your personality be yourself. You know, surprisingly enough, I see this a little bit as a, a big mistake here. Leverage your personality, be yourself. 
and there, there it's like a conflict as we're so busy thinking about oh here's what i need to say how do i need to do this what do i do here we we, we quit being ourselves. Being yourself is ultimately kind of what you're selling in part, right? And so here's what I want to suggest. Memorize your scripts. Memorize your telephone in Christ script. Memorize how you're going to do the tour. Memorize the price presentation. Memorize the referral presentation. And here's the reason you do. You memorize it so you're free to be yourself. If you ever acted on stage, I mean, what do they tell you? You memorize your script, of course. We would think it'd be crazy not to. How could you ever get up on stage and do this if you didn't memorize your script? But they, what they will tell you when you're acting, okay, you memorize your script so you're free to be yourself. Not because people, I don't want to be a robot. That's not what we're talking about here. You memorize it so you're free to be yourself. So, you know, leverage your personality, be yourself, but you're going to have to memorize those scripts in advance. Okay. Um, number five, ask great questions. Now, if your club has it, great, but you want to have like a needs analysis, a guest profile. If they don't have it, you want to get one. Uh, you can search the channel here for information on that. But you want a guest profile because what you want to do is you want to start learning about your customer. How, how long have you been thinking about this? Okay, why is this important to you? You know, what have you tried before? Why has it worked? Why did it not work? When were you in the best shape of your life? What were you doing then? What do you like best about this? What do you like least about it? Ask great questions. Get to know your customers. Okay, and you know the thing is when we talk about asking great questions, you know, say you're doing follow-up work. Make sure every contact you have with a customer at whatever level they're, they're they are a, a paying member, they're thinking about it. You know, they used to be whatever it is. Every contact, every communication. Make sure you're providing value at some level. It's not just hey, do you want to buy my stuff? Okay, provide value. Okay. Um, number seven, never stop learning. You want to, the first day you walk in the door and then forever, become a student of this. Become a student. Become a student of sales, a student of people, a student of management, of your gym, of, the, of your business, of the company, of the industry. Use this channel. It's a great way to do it. We have a lot of clubs that, that use this channel as their resource to never stop learning. Because you're either getting better or you're getting worse. There's really no other option, right? And if you want to get better, keep learning this. You know, I can go back to, you know, back in the days when I memorized that, that binder that I've talked about before. I memorized that thing and I was doing well. And I'd go back and I'd reread it. And I go, boy, I've kind of left some stuff out here. And I start bringing that stuff back in. All of a sudden, things got even better. Okay, so the things we'll, we'll, we'll kind of, we'll forget or just stop doing it for whatever reason, you know, Keep learning, keep doing it. Um, number seven, get yourself a mentor. Get yourself someone that's kind of been there, done that. You know, one of the things that I talk about a lot is if you if you don't know where you're going, ask someone who's been there. Okay, and you want someone who's successfully been there, had success at this. I know we do this for a lot of clubs and a lot of companies, but you might have attorneys, you might have accountants, you might have you know family members. But find somebody who's give you that guidance, that direction. Again, you can choose to use the channel here if you want. And then last on my list on how to be a successful first-time gym salesperson, take personal ownership of this. Be accountable. Here's what you don't want to do. Oh, it's the price. Oh, it's the owner. Oh, it's the club. Oh, it's the competition. Oh, it's the weather. It's none of that. It's you. Okay. If, if it is to be, it's up to me. That's the mantra, right? Choose to be accountable. Because otherwise, you're putting your success in somebody else's hands. Or you're putting your success in the hands of the weather. Okay? Put your self success in your hands. And the reason that's so crucial, of all those things I just you know, kind of rapid fire mentioned there, the only thing you can control is you. Take accountability. You're responsible for everything. Okay, it'll change everything for you when you choose to do that. Okay, that customer they didn't choose to join or not not join because of the price or the club or the competition. They chose not to join because you didn't make it important enough to them. You didn't build enough value. And I don't mean that in a critical sense. I just mean that in a sense of hey, let's take responsibility. What can we do differently next time to make sure that doesn't happen? So folks, uh, how to be successful as a first time gym salesperson. If you're responsible for training people, use this as a guide. If you're one of those folks, use this as a guide. Have that discipline, stick with it, because you can do this. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. My company's 
fitness management and consulting. And I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And uh, for those of you that have not yet done so, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. You know, as you know, my focus and my mission is I want to be able to reach as many people as I can uh, and provide as much information as I can across all regions. And that's the best way I can do that is when you hit that subscribe button. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, check out those links below. And we'll look forward to seeing you all in that next video.